Well, hey there, boys and girls on YouTube, wherever in the world you're watching or whatever time of day it is. It's Tuesday, December 2nd. It's 3.45 p.m. It's about four degrees Celsius. I'm here back in the west end of Toronto, the borough, well, I did many videos in, the, in York, but this is the Silver Front area. I'm on Eglinton Avenue West, just half a kilometer east of Keel Street, halfway between Caledonia and uh, Keel's uh, LRT station on the under construction Line 5 Eglinton Line, which will, of course, run along Eglinton. And today I'm going to be walking west this time. I haven't walked west of Keel in a video. This should be pretty interesting though, because I'll be walking right by the overground guideway for the Eglinton line. So we'll be passing two stations, Kielzo, which is up ahead, and Mount Dennis, which is the terminus station. And this is unofficially part of Little Jamaica. Of course, a long ass strip. There is a famous beef patty place that I go to sometimes. And it's a very beautiful day today. Very beautiful, no clouds in the sky. Isn't that amazing? Yesterday it snowed pretty damn heavily. I think it was like 10 centimeters of snow, but it looks as if it's melting. So uh, I was gonna go for a walk yesterday, but uh, I, I couldn't get time because I was doing school work and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, today is, so, today is very beautiful. Why not just go for a walk and see what's at the uh, see what's at the western end of Line Five? You know, Mount Dennis Station and all that whatnot. And I gotta be careful because there's still slush and ice. So this is like part of the snow you're gonna get to see. We're in the last month of this crazy year. Holy. It's like eight and a half months into this pandemic. And just no signs, there's no signs of of curve of uh, curving the spread. Although vaccines are supposed to be rolled out here in Ontario next month. So that should be a promising start to next year. And the sun is shining down on the vehicles myself, people, and this, woo, and this repainted bus coming along, traveling on the, what branch is it, 32A to Renfrew Station in Mississauga. I'm gonna speed up a bit here. And you can actually see up ahead. Oh, there's a GO train on the Kitchener line. Oh, it's going pretty fast. Yeah, so <laughs> that was actually perfect. I actually came to zoom in on the uh, elevated bridge and I catch a GO train heading north, northwest on the Kitchener line. We'll get up there in, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. are good and that bridge up ahead is uh is where are the train tracks for the kitchener line with the go transit uh, up express that's union pearson express as well as the uh, via rail and Canadian pacific lines that bus is still holding up there for no reason you know ttc things Coming up is Keel Street. And of course, the sadly half broke down York Memorial Collegiate Institute. There's a fire that broke out here last year. It was pretty freaking crazy. <laughs> and there it is. There's the one of the entrances to Keelsdale Station. This is going to be the biggest entrance to the station. 
because there's going to be a bus terminal on the other side of the building. There is the southeast entrance, and there's going to be another entrance right over there. And there's a electric bus on the 941 Express. Isn't that isn't that cool? I've never seen a, a Portero on that route before. By the way, Q Street breaks up at Rogers Road because of the train tracks. And Kyo could ooh, I never seen that before. These look like new bike lanes apparently. There's a look down Kyo Street with one of the crappy articulated Nova buses. And uh, there it is, guys. Sadly, York Memorial has been left up in touch for over a year. We're not sure what to do with this thing. The school's been around for 90 years. And uh, because the fire was really big, that's probably going to be the end of the structure for it, unfortunately. Here's a look at the station building as well as looking up east. I started at Kane Avenue, by the way. Okay, I'm walking in the wrong direction. So you guys can see, there is the front of the building. I think I've been to this pizza place once. I haven't been here in probably 10 years, maybe. And this building here is supposed to be part of the station. I think it's supposed to be a power station, substation. I don't know what that is, but I know it's shaped or structured to look like what Metrolinx is building. Coming up is the York Civic Center. Just like all the former boroughs of Toronto, each one has its own Civic Center. Taste of St. Lucia. Closer to the elevated guideway for the LRT train, this school bus is blocking my view. Actually, now you can see it. There it is. Hope to go go to downtown and do a walk on Young Street or or any of the other well-known East West North South streets. That's definitely gonna happen next year. Don't know when. And recently, Metrolinx and the TTC have started to test their trains on this part of Line Five. I saw in a video that was posted, I think, in November last month, October. They did a video showcasing the trains along this part of Line 5, the bridge here from Mount Dennis to Keelsdale Station. There is the Civic Center. And over at the lights is Blackfeet Drive. I don't have my right hand off. I, I don't have my right glove on me. But I have my left glove on. So my right hand is freaking freezing. the 32D 
branch. I came from West Park Healthcare at Jane Street. There's the sun blowing down. It's rush hour and sunset is supposed to be in about an hour actually. See that building over there? That big one over there? It's refurbished. That is the Kodak building. And it was moved a couple times. Well, it's a good thing the city decided to preserve it. So, of course, they can accommodate construction for what's supposed to be Mount Dennis Station. That, of course, will connect to a new GO station on the Kitcher Line, as well as the Up Express. And there is a, there's a construction site that's probably been there since 2011. And this is where they actually started construction nine years ago. They brought out two board machines. I actually forgot their names. They titled the western part of Line 5. Don't forget the, uh, while under construction at the time, it was known as the Eglinton Cross Line LRT. Sometimes I call it that, but just like all of the other TTC subway lines, the other four of them are going to be numbered. So Line 5 it is. And It'd be really cool if I caught a train testing right now. This is the portal, as you can see. I forgot the name of this park, Chris Tonks. Whoa! There's a go bus. Is that a go bus? That looks like one. I mean, I don't see the logo, but the painting and the paint scheme is very recognizable. Look at that. What the heck is a go bus sitting here in the middle of nowhere where there's no go bus route around here? Even though there's a, even though the go train lines up ahead and there's and they're, they're still building the uh, station. Isn't this amazing? I remember when they were still building this bridge. It's officially complete. The, uh, electricity has been uh, turned on for the trains to test. So uh, next year we're definitely going to see some uh, vehicles testing on this on this line, and perhaps maybe across Midtown and eventually the east end of Toronto. That, of course, East York, North York, and Scarborough. That building over there is recent. It opened, I think, three to four years ago. It's a gym and community center there's a little i i think that's the black creek if i'm not mistaken you guys can see now i don't think i could walk on the north side of eglinton because of the construction but i'll be sure to get a view of mount Dennis station Look at the community center, which I've never been before. By the way, we're a week and a half into this half-assed lockdown. I don't know if the cases are going to go down by next week or even before the lockdown expires. Christmas is like three weeks away, and we're supposed to be got and we're. Supposed to gather with people within your household. So, either way, it's gonna be pretty different. Not the usual one, but at least there are vaccines coming. But that's about political movements and stuff, so I will shut up about that. This here is Black Creek Drive. There's a Kodak building as well. You can also see the signals installed on this. Damn, I wish. Or hope I could have come. You can see the tunnel as well. Black Creek Drive is just in south of here at Weston Road. 
And then at uh, Lawrence Avenue West, it becomes the Highway 400. Well, actually, uh, Black Creek Drive continues up until Highway 401, but it becomes Highway 400. There's a no froze. I remember when they had their old logo. I could walk all the way to Weston Road, but I don't think I'll do that. Or maybe I could. We'll see. I'm pretty indecisive. And of course, just before Mount Dana Station is the storage facility for the trains, which actually can be seen like pretty much anywhere in this neighborhood. We're approaching the neighborhood of Mount Dennis. Well, once you pass the train tracks at least. If you guys live along Eglinton, how excited are you are for this line? I'm really excited because I've been living along Eglinton like all my life. There's supposed to be a subway line, like I said, back in the 90s. Mike Harris canceled it. And then David Miller, which is a uh, former Toronto mayor, before Rob Ford, developed Transit City. The Eglinton line was one of them. And then when Rob Ford took office exactly 10 years ago, he canceled the line. But two years ago, well, two years later, they uh, reinstated it and it's been uh, Still under construction. It'd also be pretty cool if I caught an Up Express or a Go Train here, but I caught one at Eglinton and Kiel. And there it is. There's the platforms for Mount Dennis Station. Stop and take a picture of this. That is really taking shape. And this station looks to be almost finished. So this will be a transit hub for, of course, TTC buses, the Kitchener Line, and Union Pearson Express, which is the train link from downtown Union Station to Pearson Airport in Mississauga, Etobicoke. And this will be a definitely a future link to the airport, well, public transit link to the airport, if you live in York or Midtown, like me. Well, eventually they're, they're gonna extend the line five to Renfrew and Pearson Airport, so that would be that would be a good thing. And uh, what looks to be stairs leading up to, I think this is Photography Drive, I think, or I'm pretty sure it's Photography Drive. There you can see looking east and looking west now. I have to say, Metrolinx and Crosslinks are doing a good job with this station, as well as the others. Ah, uh, we'll finish up with Weston. It's just up ahead. There's the Cold Eye building. Still in use. I thought I heard a train coming, but I, don't, but I think it's pretty hard to hear. I can't even tell once I'm walking under here. And this is the Mount Dennis neighborhood. Not really a safe area, but it's not that bad. This station will serve the area. Whoa! I just 
just caught a freight train. I just saw a shadow. Am I right? Am I right? Because I just heard a big ass engine. Okay, I don't think I can run, but I hear a train for sure. I swear I heard an engine. Yep, it's a Canadian Pacific train. I can't believe I missed it. I barely missed it. Wow. There, you can see it. I'm not a big fan of freight trains. But yeah, that's a CP train heading to... You know what, I could even go up here, perhaps. Yeah, there's a, there's a train. And there is the western entrance to Lion 5. And there is, and here is Western Road, where I will end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this cold, beautiful day. This video that I ran along Eglinton from Sissy's of Hill down to Wester, Western Road, and of course, showcasing Keel Sale and Mount Dennis stations on Line 5. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Your support to this channel is appreciated. And there is Western Road. Western Road flows. We'll do a walk here at some point. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And you guys can actually see condos up at Eglinton and Allen. That's of course my other home. In the town of Toronto, you guys can consider as well. Oh, look at that, there's another engine here. Okay, I lost my zoom. Okay, I'm not gonna wait here for a train. Maybe, maybe I'll perhaps come back here soon, but my hands are freezing. So I'm heading back home. And I can't tell that the lady is taking a picture of me or probably just a scene. Let's just ignore that. Okay, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.